All right, chat, let's try this out. Before we get into it, though, let us read the perks on Touch of Malice. It does have an exotic catalyst. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But Touch of Malice, the final round in the magazine, deals bonus damage drawing from the Wilder's Life Force and then regenerates itself. Rapidly defeating three targets restores health. A lot of this can be offset with certain things. Right here on Lorely is pretty good, or even Devour is pretty good to, to pair with it. Comes with the Charge with Blight trait, Precision Hit Strain, Combatant's Life Force, Charges up a Ball of Darkness, Press Reload, then to Fire to unleash the Blight Projectile, Shrouding Combatant's and Darkness, and Temporary Blinding them. Guys, what does the Exotic Catalyst do? Rapid Hit. Oh, Rapid Hit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's... I think that's kind of pointless on it, though, no? Because you're, you're never really reloading. If you're if you're bringing it down every single time, yeah, I guess you're not ever reloading. Dude, the ornament looks so good, though. Oh my it does, God. yeah. Way better than the D1 version. Oh, freak, dude. Chat, look at this sex thing. Oh, <laughs> Luke, can you find me someone that has Touch of Malice and the Exotic Catalyst? So, right off the bat, Ooh. this thing is a 260 round per minute. Okay. The 260 scout. All right. Dude. Let me get Darcy out real quick. 11 max size. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the max size has it's low intentionally. I don't think we're gonna have much damage. Follow you, chill. So it does 47 for crit, 28 for body. All right, that's in line with our other rapid fire scouts. 47 for crit, 28 for body. They sit around a 0.9 three second time to kill value. Optimal in a 1.4 second body shot TTK. But let's go ahead and just bring it down real quick. Let me see how much health I'm losing each time. All right, a decent amount. Oh, and it will kill you. It will straight up kill you. All right, so let me see what I'm looking at. 61 per crit. Holy crap, hold on. And 36 per body. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me look at this real quick. Radiant with that three tap machine. Radiant. It won't be able to three tap. One, two, three. Obviously, won't be able to three tap right here, but... Let me get it down. What would that put it at? 60, 66. All right, gets us weak. Why did I bring myself that low? Oh my god. So it does three tap with Radiant. Can you do two head one body? Is the next question. No, no, you can't. It's 15% though. So it's 61 times 1.1. No, it won't less. Fortunate. No, it won't two. It's, so be expecting a three tap. But the good thing is, it's like you come around a corner. Pop, 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 pop. Oh my god! Alright, guys, give me an idea of what we're looking at TTK wise. I told you that we were sitting around a time to kill 0.93 seconds for this. Alright, so when we when we throw in the added damage and radiance, we are looking at a 0.46 TTK. 0.46 TTK. Luke, put that on the thumbnail. 0.46 TTK. That's like how fast is 0.46? That's that's cooking. That's, that's like yeah, that's less than half a second. Oh, I, I didn't have radiant there. <laughs> that's like, right? Well, that's true. I'm in right. less than I'm fucking true. half. Can you believe it? Now, here's my question. Can we consistently proc radiant with a lordly titan? Like, like as easily as we do it here. I don't think we can, huh? There's you no... You get a melee hit. I got to get a melee hit. So Hunter is still the best for this strat. Yes. Use the blight thing. You haven't used it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, we've got the blight. Dude. It only one shots with one bullet in the mag, by the way. If you have a full magazine, it will not kill. Really? Yeah, because it gets the it gets the bonus damage from being from one bullet. So try it again. So hold on. Uh, does it go away when I reload? No. Okay, no, okay. It's not. Okay, okay. It's and times ten is the last one. Or the, the the highest it can go up to, right? Does yes. it seem to be spinning faster when I get stacks, chat? Yes, it does. It does. And then I think it <gasps> uh, Oh look at it. Look, it, it stops the spinny thing. Okay, yeah. okay. So hold on. This is this is without being on the last bullet. Okay, so it does a fair amount of damage, but you definitely want to go ahead and prime this thing down. I actually want to see like how slow it moves across the ground. Les, tell me from your perspective how long it takes to get there. Is it easily dodgeable, I wonder? Yeah, very. I could literally strafe out of it, but I'll let you get the kill just so you can see that there's no range fall off for it. All right, it's fully amped. It's pretty. I was on the last bullet right there. Try again. I'm gonna get closer. We go 20 meters now. 
Okay, that one shot. I'm gonna go 25. Hunter. Try just try 30. Just try 30. You're 30 meters. What? Well, actually, wait. Now you're 30 meters. All right. Um, 35? 40? Yeah, we'll try, we'll try 40. Alright, you are at 40 meters. Okay, I guess there's no range fall off for it. I think you might have just did something wrong. Maybe, maybe early I just did something wrong. Alright, chat, it seems to be just dicking no matter, no matter what. So, it's doing the thing and it's, it's getting the one shot kill. Alright, so you want me to go try it on Warlock? Yeah, and with the electrostatic mine, and then see if it'll actually proc an ionic trace. Does it work when the crotic grips? It does. It does? Yes, it does. That blight will spread poison. No fucking way. All right, let's. Right. I'm about to unload on Hopefully you. This works. Three, two, one. I do not see an ionic trace. No, it is unfortunate, but honestly, the crotic freaking grips. I have to go try this. Now, does it work with all touch of mouth shot? No, no, no. It's only the blight. So only the blight. All right, I've got the juice. I've got the juice. I'm gonna melt myself down real quick. Come, come. All right, yeah! Yes! Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, let me see what the damage difference is here inside of PvE. We, so, what, we went from, what, 61 to 47? So inside of PvP, we're looking at almost a 30% increase in damage. But let me look at PvE. 9,354. All right, remember that, guys. The whopping 100% increase in damage, Chad. Damn, that's a it's lot. A time, it's a times two. That is a shit ton. Yeah. I need this exotic, man. And it's taking advantage of the 40% increase in, in primary damage because it's an exotic. Of all the times, our RNG is shite less. Neither you nor me got this fucking exotic this past weekend. Uh, chat, watch it again. <gasps> it does make Ionic Traces! Okay, so not in PvP, but in PvE. Okay, so I was right! It would work! Yes, the gun! <laughs> oh, that's so good, actually. Holy hell. Yeah, no, Devour will obviously work really well here, but it does make Ionic Traces, which is something we were curious about. That's huge. All right, yeah, you definitely need something healing you. But regardless, it creates Onyx Traces. It synergizes with Necrotic Grips. Pretty good. Let's go try it in Crucible. Gonna be a little risky. Oh my god, that guy just got fucked. Have a little faith in me right now. Fucking hell yes. Oh my lord, that was beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Are we a, are we a glass cannon? Yes. Is it is it still sexy to do? Yes. Zone advantage is yours. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not bad. Sure, are we one shot a lot of the times? Yes. But when it's right, it's right. One minute left. Only one enemy remains. Only one enemy. Invis would be really, really good for this. Get set up. There we go. Yeah. It worked. It's a double edged sword. You're defeated. Fight Let's again. go. Give me that three tap. Kind of the four tap, so it didn't really count. Trials is going to be more fucking casual in this shit. Zone A lost. Enemy has advantage. Okay. You 
Okay. Woo! Man. When it cooks, it cooks, dude. That man did it out. Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. Honestly, guys, Touch of Mountains did good. That was a tough game. These were tough as lobbies. And it's it's not like, like we popped off or anything, but it was snagging some kills and doing it very, very quickly. Um, I think the exotic catalyst is just gonna make this weapon even better with more stability, adding to the fact that the weapon does get a little recoil on the end there when you have one shot in the gun. The other thing is its ability to combat flinch is gonna become better as well. I didn't take advantage of the blights. Getting stacking 10 crits is something you can do in like I guess a weaker public lobby, but those lobbies were super, super sweaty. So we had to be fully amped in order to even make it work. But those were all really, really good players we were playing against. Either way it goes, this weapon has so much synergy and so much ability in PvE, especially uh, with things like Necrotic Grips. And, you know, you pair things like Lorely or even like Warlock Rifts for healing. A lot of good stuff. Worth the grind for King Spawn. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.